to hide the recapture, what you do is uh, you right click on it. And in here, uh, you can also use this thing and you can see it targets specific elements. So if you click on something, it'll give you the code for that specific element. So I would go in here, try to get it so it highlights everything. But if it doesn't, then what you do is you see the blue line where it's highlighted. You can use the arrow keys to go up and down. If you press uh, right in this case, it'll open it. Left, it'll close it. So, and as you see, if you highlight, as you highlight here, you see what's getting highlighted in there because, uh, for example, this has a lot of layers in it, like the white background, the icon, uh, the text. So it has a lot of layers in there. So just keep going up, see what things are getting highlighted. And when things stop highlighting, you're outside of that element. So just go back to the last thing that got highlighted, in this case, uh, that. So I know this is at the highest level. This is the, or I guess the very first layer that contains everything in there. So if you hide this layer, it'll hide everything inside of it. You see the arrow right there. Everything is inside of it. So what I'll do is I click on the plus sign. So it selects the class name. Then I type display none and Display none should work like that by itself. If it doesn't work, you type space, uh, exclamation point important, and that will hide it. So then I copy that and I go into the, uh, I have a specific place now for this recapture but but whenever you wanted to do something with CSS, you can just go to Appearance Theme Editor and style.css, it'll be the one by default and you'll paste it. If you go in here, uh, like I said, I have a specific place where to put this one just cause it happens on every website. But in your case, if you ever need to do something specific for just one website, this is where you would add it. Save. And then uh, let's see, always double check it. If you still see it, make sure that the cache is, is flushed, that there's no cache in it, because sometimes it does happen where you make an edit here on the browser, like with inspect, it works like how you want it. But when you add it to the code, for some reason it doesn't work. Uh, so always double check it and make sure that in this case, what we wanted to hide was hidden. And it did. So that's how you do it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on that. Mm -hmm.